Live, this is one for the record. I'm Diana, and today is January 25th, 2013. It is Friday, late Friday evening, and here are your updates for today. We'll go into the breakingnews.com first. Snow ac accumulations in Algany County, Pennsylvania. Mount Washington saw 3.5 inches of snow today. Also, fire overtakes a comedy club in Fairfield, California. Instagram's Monkey2413. I guess that's who, who, came, who gave that news. It's 11 minutes ago. Twelve people are displaced following an explosion at an apartment complex in West Hollywood, California. One injured. Uh, firefighters battle five alarm structure fire at a comedy club in Fairfield, California. Let's see what else is going on. Residents in New South Wales, Australia, told to prepare for floods, high winds as Oswald nears region. And that's coming out of the SBS News. That was an hour ago. Long Island Railroad workers accused of selling copper wire stolen at work. And that's uh, coming from the New York Times. Alrighty then, let's see if there's anything else of interest. And then we'll... These, this is all breaking news within an hour. Going on 27 hours straight now below freezing in Charlotte, North Carolina. Currently 27 degrees as of an hour ago. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah, Max doesn't like that news. Let's move on. <coughs> Alrighty then. The Watchers Watching the World. Haze continues to hover over northern India and Bangladesh. January 2013, Arctic outbreak in North America. Volcanic activity at Revent Adore Peaks. All right. And there was a solar prominences on January 23rd, 2013. All right, that's your uh, watchers. Moving on. The Extinction Protocol 2012 and beyond. White Island eruption increasingly likely. <coughs> After threats U against the U.S., North Korea issues threats to South Korea. Heads up. North Korea. Shallow 4.1 magnitude earthquake rattles East Texas. Earthquake swarm reported near Nevada's Topaz Lake. Alrighty then. Moving on. Japan, Fukushima. <coughs> e, e News. The Energy News. Worker reported smoke coming from con common pool building at Fukushima Daiichi. Heads up. Lawyer. Thyroid ab abnormalities in 55% of Fukushima girls tested age 11 to 15. Also today, Death River. Radiation detector goes over limit in Fukushima City. 430,000 becquerels per kilogram of cesium. Heads up! Serious concern over long-term health co consequences from Fukushima di disaster. New study. Eight times more cancer deaths than predicted. <coughs> and it still keeps going. It's still going.
Oh, here's something from yesterday that came out after I reported. Decontamination during recess. Children play next to adults shoveling radioactive dirt. Prosecutors question ex-TEPCO chairman over Fukushima, accused of being responsible for the injury from radiation exposure. Okay, let's check out the sinkhole, U.S. Canada. You know, does anything else really matter if all this radiation is, is being released into uh, the environment? Let's say we're in a bathtub and you throw a bar of soap at the end of... Come on, cat. You, <coughs> you throw a bar of soap at the end of the bathtub but you're sitting you know you're sitting in there you don't think that soap is gonna you know it's just gonna like just stay on that end or is it gonna travel across mix in get down do you understand what i'm saying does anything else really matter until we get this thing shut off anything else shouldn't matter the whole world should be jumping in on this newspaper today. Bubbling seen around new pad near giant sinkhole. Alrighty then. Yesterday, today's flyovers of giant sinkhole release shows new access road being built on edge of subsidence zone. Alright. That's it. It is five days down. We made it. We're going into the weekend. Take care. Be safe. And I'll see you again on the flip side. And I'll put Dr. Deagle on uh, either later tonight, more likely tomorrow since I'm running late. I had to help a, a elderly neighbor. All right, take care.